guys and welcome back to Sis vs. Sis, only little Sis this time. And if you haven't seen my first or second, I mean our first and second video, then my name is Allison. Hi, my sister's name is Gwen. She is upstairs and she will not be able to come down right now. So I'm just going to do this video by myself and because it's my box that I got. And so I'm going to be making this, one of the things that I got in my box, it's called a tomato. And they're like little gnomes that protect your house. Um, I got it in my KiwiCo Atlas crate and it is from Sweden. So we are going to be making two, one with a blue hat and one with the green hat. So let's get on with the video. So, First of all, it says you will be needing colored felt triangles, which are these two, blue and green. And you will need felt decorations, which are these thingies. And then you'll need a short, short yarn lace, which is this. And scissors from home, which I got. Okay, so first it says lay out the colored felt triangles with the curved and facing you. Stick on the felt decorations. Okay, here I go. holes meet up so I already made a creasing line for that Let's be right here so and I'll show you the felt I mean I'll fold the felt with it so that looks like this and then it says f um poke one end of the of a short yarn lace through the two bottom holes. Got it. Then it says, make, tie a knot around the felt, then cut it off of the end of the lace. So I'm gonna double tie it just, just so it'll stay. I don't even know if I can double tie it. I'll try. <laughs> Got it. And then tie it tight. And then it says to cut off the lace, the rest of the lace. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm just gonna cut off right here to where the beginning is. So it doesn't stick out like that. Then I'm gonna cut it off. You don't do that. You've got to lace it up, remember? You sure? Because it says cut off the end of the lace. Oh, I'm just that gonna... end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it was the other end. Mm -mm. Then, number three says. Thread the other end of the lace through the next pair of holes. Pull the lace through in all the way. So that means do it to the rest of them. And do that. After I 
do three, after I do three ties, then I bring the end back around the thread and pull it through the next pairs of holes, pull the lace all the way through, so like this. start the body. So we need a gray felt triangle, the roving, a bead, two pipe cleaners, um, felt arms, and two, two felt arms and two brads. So the first step is removing this. So they came in the bag like this. And so I had to remove this. Seven. So they'd be two pieces, one for this one and one for the other one. That we're doing so i did i already did that sorry um so now it says to grab a pipe cleaner grab one bunch of pipe cleaner do like this and then put it like this you wrap it like this make sure it's even and then you grab it and twist one time wait i can do it And then it says, lay out the gray felt triangle with the curved side facing you, facing you. Poke the pipe cleaners through the ends, through the up and down holes in the middle. Which would be? So, these? It would be those two, yep. So, it needs to be like this. Okay. Is this the right way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yep. And then once you stick them like that, mm -hmm. I'm just going to lay them down like this because they're sticking to the felt. <laughs> and then I'm going to take them on the back and I'm just going to twist them like it says. It says twist the two ends together on the back. Mm -hmm. So mine's kind of weird, <laughs> but that's okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be anyway. Uh, Now you... Uh, wait now, now you slide the a bead onto another pipe cleaner okay that's pretty easy and make sure it's in the middle and then poke the pipe oh you gotta do this poke the pipe cleaners through the ends to the other pair of holes in the middle above the mustache twist the ends together and this is going to be the nose. So, I have to put that in. I don't know if it's right. Oh, I know where that's going to be. And then, now, you do this. And then you twist it. You can either do once or twice. I'm going to be doing two times, so it's tight. And then I'm just going to lay them down so they don't poke anybody. Okay. So, this is what it looks like so far. It has got the beard. Or something in it. Oh, it was one of the things. We got the beard and the nose. So you can still see a little bit of the pipe cleaner, but that doesn't matter. And it says, oh, it said flip to the other side and did that, which I forgot to say. Um, and now it says step four, poke the brad through the felt on um, poke the brad through one of the holes on the other side. Um of the face on the back open the brad which are which are these um repeat them on the other side of the arm so 
you need them to be facing like this to where it's pointing to the mustache. So, or nose, it doesn't matter. And then you poke a hole, you do this, like this, mm -hmm. just like this. And you flip it around. And then you, yep. yep, yeah, flip it around. I'm just gonna lay it like this. And then you do this. And you open it, yep, there you, you go. Open it up mm -hmm. and do this. And you so do it, it looks like an arm. Then you do it on the other it side. It kinda does look like mm -hmm. an arm, actually. But not a real arm. <laughs> any way you want. I just laid them like they were put. Okay. So that's it for the step. Okay, so now we're doing part C, fluff and lace. Okay, so right now we're gonna need the tom tomato body from part B. Gray felt circle, long yarn lace, fluff, and tomahawk hat. Wait, Tomo T hat from part A. Okay, so we got all those things right line out right here. And so for the first step, it says grab, wait, flip the Tomo, Tomo T body facing down. Grab the gray felt circle and find the gap between the holes. Sorry, I had to. And line up the first hole after the gap with the second hole on the bottom. So this one, I'm gonna grab and let me put the hole that one. Right here, that one. And I'm just gonna poke a hole for them right now because I need to the scissors. Remember to be careful with the scissors and make sure you have an adult. I'm gonna do those shits. I'm just gonna do the bottom right now. Okay. So it says to put those on top of each other like so. Say to like put these two ends together or no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you you gotta lace it through first. Oh, okay. I did that. And you gotta put the lace through okay, right here. Knot. So we got this long yay long lace right here. We're gonna start with the first one. We're gonna do this, and I'm gonna double double knot it. Like I did last time, except I did have it longer. Like with the hat. Like with the hat mm -hmm. from part A. And this time it won't it won't be as hard because I'm doing it longer. Okay. <laughs> Once you finish lacing the circle to the body, there should be 
one empty hole in each corner of the body piece. If not, a hole may have been met skipped somewhere. So what does it say? Unlace to find the skipped hole, then start lacing again from there. Luckily, we caught that before we uh, didn't go all the way around, huh? Yeah, I said it, I thought it meant take. I mean, go through that. Go no. through this one. It said the second one. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I wasn't either. I didn't even. I didn't even know it said that. So, we're gonna do this again, and here we go. So we gonna start like this. Okay, make sure you start it on the second hole, right? Like this. Put it through like okay, this. Okay. Yep. That way. Yep. Oh, I thought you put it in the other way. And then you go around. Yep, there you go. Careful. Yep. Okay. There you go. <laughs> says continue to lace up the back of of the body and then stop when you're halfway up mm, okay yep i'll have it up i think so it says so i think they went about four times up two i'll pull them tight this time wait a second wait a second what is this one Okay. Okay, now it says, pinch by pinch, use one bunch of, of stuff pinch, pinch. to stuff, oh, to stuff the body. 
So there you go. Just mm -hmm. put it all in again. Yep. You have to put all of it in? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the two bunches? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Too yep. Much. You shove it all in there, I guess. And then you lace the rest of the way to the top. Then tuck the end of the lace back under the last loop and pull tight. Trim, <laughs> trim the ends of the lace. Okay. Yeah, I think we actually can fit it in there. Yeah, that thing's going to be stuffed. So, and then you lace the top, and then you lace the rest. And then you just go tuck it in. I'm thinking I'm going to tuck it in and then... Okay. So, now that I got that, I put it in through this one to make it kind of like a cross, if you guys can see that. And then what I'm just going to do, it doesn't say you have to do this, but... I'm just going to do it to make sure it stays. I'm going to knot it so it stays, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. So, I'm going to loosen that. Okay. So, that's what does it look like? Let me see. Okay, so it, wait, let me fluff down my beard because the beard is kind of fluffy. Well, of course, it's fluffy, but. <laughs> oh, I got stuck in it. So this is what, it, so looks this is like. what oh. it looks like, and it has its little arms right here. Mm -hmm. And we're um, getting ready to put the hat on and and everything else. So we'll need um, mittens, which we just need. Two sucker sticks. A flag. Whatever this thing is. And two a crafting sticks. A okay. Six. Wait, where's the other one? Where's the other one went? Of these, I was out of two. I don't know. Oh, well, we'll find it later. Okay, so it says stick a mitten to the back of each arm. Mm. So if you look at it, that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I already saw that. It says fold the mittens around the paper sticks. Like right in the middle? Or like um, up here. I think it's right kind of at the top. Oh, it can't go higher than that, so I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, see, look, see, right here. Yeah, that's good. Like he's wearing, like he's using skis. Okay. Put the first one like this. I'm gonna do that. Mm, oh, it's supposed to go the other way. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yep. There. There you go. Okay, that's my S stick on. Then you stick these. Underneath them. Were these? No. Those. Those? Mm-hmm. Do I put, like... It's, it says, slide the craft sticks into the bottom slits for skis. See right here? There should be slits at the bottom. Way at the bottom. Oh! Yes. I, I knew they were yeah. there. I just didn't see, see them. Yet. Yeah. There you go. That's cool that they have them done for you. Yeah. So this one's going to be skiing. Yep. Yay! I'm going to put it more in the front than in the back. Okay. So you can see him because a big fluff beard mm -hmm. is covering them up. Big fluff beard wants all the attention. And the skis are like, wait, no, what about us? Oh, I'm taking some of the fluff out of the thing. Yep. Um, and then don't forget yay. his hat. And then we're going to put his hat on. So let's round that. Mm-hmm. And we're just on it. Oh, it's just, it's just something. Put mm -hmm. it on like so. There you go. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that we have been waiting for. The tomato. Here he is. Skiing. Boop. And there he is. That's pretty cute. So, yeah. He, just be warned, he will get stuff in his beard, so I'd advise to sit him on the counter where it's not dirty or in your room on a nightstand, so you can always look at him. So, now we gotta clean up the mess, so. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out my channel, which is down below, and make sure to like, subscribe, maybe 
If you want to leave a comment, hit that notifi notifi notification bell, and we will see you guys later. Goodbye!